friends, it's good to see you here today. Uh, Travis and I are back and we're so excited to share a new story with you. We've been learning about the life of Queen Esther and now we're on to a story about a boy in the Bible named Joseph. And Joseph, he had a large family. The Bible tells us he had 10 brothers. I, I know that's that's a lot. That's a lot of brothers. Uh, anybody have 10 brothers or sisters, siblings that you live with? That'd be a big happy family sometimes. So Joseph had 10 brothers, but they weren't always a big happy family. They worked hard. They lived on a big piece of property and he, the brothers took care of sheep because they had sheep and they had cows and the brothers took care of the, the animals on the farm you do. Travis takes care of his bees because he likes honey. Yep. Okay. You have a beehive and that would make sense. Well, so Joseph was the youngest of the brothers. And sometimes when they would go back to home at night, dad would always ask Joseph. Joseph was his favorite. And he would always ask him like, Hey, how's it going? What happened? And some days Joseph would tell them that his brothers weren't doing their job. They weren't doing what they were supposed to do. And of course that made his brothers pretty angry. They didn't like it when Joseph would tell on them. No, it was, it was not nice. And so they were, didn't really like Joseph, but Joseph was his dad's favorite. The Bible tells us. And one day Joseph's dad gave him a beautiful coat. And if you can look up there, I don't know if you guys can see our picture storyboard right here. You can see the different colors in the coat and you can see that Joseph's putting the coat. That's yeah, in the story up there, if you look, his brothers do not look happy and they weren't. They were not happy that Joseph was getting a coat and they were not. They didn't like the fact that his father loved him more. And so they decided they were gonna scheme up a plan. There's a lot of scheming in this story, but we'll save that for another day. Yeah, that's, that's a long story, it's very true. But what we were focused on today is the fact of jealousy. That's when, it's a big word, huh? Jealousy is when somebody else gets something and you want it and you get mad. That's how his brothers were. They, yeah, they look very, very angry. They were jealous and jealousy is not good. It's not good. It's not good in your heart. And Jesus doesn't want us to be jealous. That's right. Jesus wants us to be kind and be happy for others when they get something. Has your brother or sister ever gotten a toy for their birthday or for just a special occasion and you're kind of get upset because you think, gosh, I wanted something and you didn't get anything. Never happened to you? Oh, once. <laughs> so that's actually jealousy. That feeling is jealousy. It's like when you want something and somebody else has it and it was something special for them. You know what? Jesus wants us to be happy for others when they get special things. Jesus says, in one of our memory verse is actually up here and it says be kind to each other and in being kind we can be happy for others when good things happen to them that's part of the lesson today is being happy for others when good things happen to them because god will take care of you just as he takes care of them and good things will happen to you too but our heart is to be kind to others and be happy for them when good things happen. Yeah? You do? Can I look? Travis has something in his heart to share. Should we take a peek and see what it is? Yeah? Okay. Hang on just a minute. Let's get into his heart. Oh, that's kind of, it's kind of heavy. Okay. You have a squishy ball? Why, why do you have a squishy ball in your heart? Oh, I see. He's got a, a cush ball. Cush ball? Cush, cush? Yeah, I don't know either. In his heart. And it's got the colors of yellow and black. It reminds him of a bumblebee. Because you like bees. 
and you like honey yeah and so why is this in your heart oh okay it reminds him to be kind to one another because it's got the colors of the bumblebee that's pretty fun i like that and it reminds me of our memory verse can you guys say it with me be kind to each other ephesians 4 32 can you say it one more time be kind to each other ephesians 4 32 and Maybe you can find a ball or something that's yellow and black, and it can remind you to be kind to others because that's a, that's a really good memory, being kind. Jesus wants us to be kind to others and to be happy for others when good things happen. So, friends, I hope you have an amazing week. We will see you next week. We'll continue with our story of Joseph and find out what happens with these jealous brothers. I sure don't want to be like them though. They don't look happy. And we want to be happy when we have a kind heart. We're happy and we're happy for others. So I hope you have an amazing week and we will see you back next week. Love you guys. Bye.